What's up guys, what's better than live sports center in the 2022 Toyota Tundra? If you wanna see how to turn your screen into a live TV, let me show you what we did to make it happen. All right, so here we are in the 2022 TRD Pro and all you're gonna to need to do this is the Benise box. Now there are many different types of these on the market. I can obviously confirm this one works with our trucks, so I will put a direct link down below. This works for iPhones and Andro Androids. Let's get that out of the way because I know that's gonna be one of the most, um, probably one of the most commonly asked questions. So it does work. I have an iPhone 12 Pro Max. As you're gonna see, it works flawlessly. Now, with that being said, this was not just a simple plug and play for me. I've seen other videos on this thing where they make it seem so simple, they just plugged it into the truck and boom, it's up and running. That was not the case for me. So I'm gonna show you exactly what I had to do to get this thing working with our truck and my phone to be able to watch TV, all that kind of stuff. It basically turns it into a tablet on the go. You can surf the internet, Netflix, YouTube TV, you name it. It's basically an iPad on the go. All right, let me show you what we gotta to do to get this thing up and running. Wasn't gonna waste time on the video by doing an unboxing. This is literally pretty much all you get. The box, um, you get a couple different cords. We are gonna need the cord that has, one end is the regular standard USB. The other end is the USB-C. That's the one we need from our, for our Tundra. It does come with another cord that has a USB-C on both ends. Um, but again, this is the one we need for our trucks. And then you, of course you get the instruction manual, but honestly, in my opinion, the instructions sucked. So anyway, all we're gonna do is we're gonna take the USB-C side, plug it into the middle port on the back of the box. Now the truck is off right now. We're gonna plug it into this port in our Tundra, okay? Just plug it in there. I'm just gonna set it down and let's start the truck and I'll show you what happens. Now this is working properly and then I will go over what happened um, as far as my issues that I ran into with it. So I'm just gonna let it boot up. You'll get your regular standard screens and everything. Okay, so now we're at the main screen of the Benise, and it just, it, it, it connects relatively quickly. I'm not gonna lie to you, it only takes maybe 30 seconds or so, give or take. So we're at the main screen. This is what you're gonna see once you get it working properly. I'm gonna go into a little bit more detail on the settings and all that good stuff, but let me show you what happened the first time I hooked it up. Um, this is how it should be working. Start your truck, it automatically, you know, again, you get your startup screens from Toyota and all that stuff, but then it'll come directly to this screen. But the first time I hooked it up, so let's go back to the truck. Um, okay, so what happened was when I first plugged it in, I got a screen that actually popped up saying something about screen calibration, and then it went away literally in like a split second. Um, but then nothing happened. I gave it a couple minutes. I thought maybe the box just needed time to boot up. Literally nothing happened. What I ended up having to do, and I had to mess with it a little bit trying to figure it out, because again, other videos I've seen make this thing seem like it's plug and play. Hopefully for you it will be, but for me it was not. Um, so let me, actually, let me do this first. Let me go into, let me turn my screen. Um, let's do dark mode. So that'll probably, hopefully show up in the video better for you. Cause I know there's a little bit of a glare as well, which I do have a screen protector on the way to get rid of that glare. But anyway, so the first time I plugged this in and had those issues, what I had to do was come into your, so come into your truck menu, so your truck settings, and down here, that little gear, that's the setting gear, or the setting icon, click on that, then you're gonna come down to Bluetooth and devices, okay? Usually when I come into this screen, before I even bought this box, usually on this screen, all that would show up is just my iPhone 12 Pro Max. Again, my phone, that's what the truck is programmed to connect to automatically. The issue was, even though I had the box plugged in, it wouldn't connect to it because it was programmed to connect to my phone first. What I had to do was come in here on this screen and right now it says auto kit dash T box. It did not say that the first time. It literally just said iPhone. Didn't say iPhone anything. So I had, I it said, I had the listing for judges iPhone 12 Pro Max, but then I had this where it just said iPhone. That's it. I just, out of curiosity, I assumed that was the box because I've never had anything else show up there. So I just clicked on iPhone and let me show you what happens that, so what I'm gonna do now is, I'll, I'll shut the camera off, not waste your time. I'm gonna disconnect from everything and I'll show you what you have to do to connect to the Benise box. So let me, I'm actually gonna unplug it, restart the truck and then I'll show you what you gotta do. All right, so I kind of reset everything, and this is, we're, right now we're connected to my phone. Okay, this is the standard Apple CarPlay screen, so you can see we're connected to the 12 Pro Max, not the box. So when you come into, back into settings, Bluetooth and devices, 
as I mentioned the very first time, it just said iPhone right here. When you click on that, you're gonna get a couple different things. You're gonna have to click connect, click OK. That's basically just saying that your 12 Pro Max is connected and you wanna disconnect it. Um, if you wanna pause the screen and read it there, you could, but that's basically what it says. And now what's gonna happen, it, it does take a few seconds. You don't have to click connect again yet. Let it just kind of do its thing. And we're gonna, we should get a screen at the top. Okay, it's gonna, it's gonna boot up into the Benise. But I'll, I'll show you the screen that I, that kind of flashed up before. Let me go back and I'll show you um, what I'm talking about because you probably will get this other screen the very first time. So when you go, when you click on Bluetooth and devices and you click on the, um, this thing, you may get a screen, a bar that comes across the screen here that says continuing will disconnect your iPhone 12 Pro Max. Do you wish to continue? That only stays on the screen for maybe four or five seconds. So you have to click continue or that screen goes away and you kind of have to go through the whole process. But it's that easy, guys. Like that's Once I figured it out, it's not hard to get this running, but it just wasn't plug and play for me like I've seen it on other videos. So I just wanted to give you that little bit of a tip. Come into settings, go to Bluetooth and devices, and then connect this way. Now, let me show you a couple things that I've, a couple tips that I found in the actual box settings on the Benise screen. All right, so once you got it connected, this is the home screen for the Benise box. I'm gonna give you a few tips that I've already noticed already, but first things first, the very first time you do this, you have to connect to Wi-Fi or a hotspot on your phone or something like that. It needs a Wi-Fi connection to be able to basically do what you want it to do. Um, in order to do that, all you're gonna do is click on this settings tab. Very top option, hopefully you can see this. I hope the glare isn't too bad, but the very top option says network and internet. And this is pretty self-explanatory. It's basically you're connecting to Wi-Fi. So um, you're gonna come in here, the very top again, press Wi-Fi, and this should give you, sorry, thought I clicked that, there we go. So this is gonna give you all of the local Wi-Fi's that you can connect to. Judge right here, that's my home Wi-Fi. Now you do need the passwords, obviously, if it's a password protected um, connection. So when I, the very first time you do this, I'm gonna click on judge, my home internet, um, and it's just gonna automatically connect because I've already put my password in there. But again, the first time you do it, you're gonna get a screen that comes up. You have to type in the password to connect, okay? I connected it to my home Wi-Fi. I'm never really gonna need this at home, I don't think, but just in case I put it in there and it will save it going forward. What I really had to do was connect it to my mobile hots or my Wi-Fi hotspot from my phone. So that way, if I'm away from home, on the go, I'm stopped somewhere eating lunch in the truck because a lot of times I'm doing that with my job. Um, I had to set it up to connect to my phone. So in order to do that, basically all you're gonna do is come into your iPhone settings. There's an option right there that says personal hotspot. You're gonna click on that and then I'm gonna block my password because as much as I love you, I don't want the world knowing my passwords. And then just make sure that green slider is turned on where it says allow others to join. Once you do that, now you can see Judge's iPhone 12 Pro Max showed up as an option to connect to. Again, I'm gonna click on it. It's gonna automatically connect because I've already put my password in there. Um, but again, the first time you will have to enter the password which is listed on your phone. Um, I had it blocked with my thumb there. All right, so you do need to do that, connect to a, um, some sort of hotspot or Wi-Fi. Once you're connected, now let's go back to the main screen and I'll show you a couple tips and things that I've noticed already. Okay, first thing, let's say you wanna get back to the Tundra menu and you wanna get out of the Benise box. This icon right here that says home, if you click on that, it'll take you back to your Toyota screen. All right, if you wanna go back into the Benise box, click on the Apple, Car or I'm sorry, the CarPlay option up here in the left. You click on that, takes you back into Benise. Okay, next thing is, Let's say there's an app, like this thing already came preloaded with all these apps. The only one I've added so far was YouTube TV. In order to add apps, you go into Google Play Store. So you click on that, and again, the first time I did have to enter my Gmail username and password. Um, so I had to enter that to get into the App Store, or the Google Play Store, I should say. The App Store is through Apple. Um, but again, as you see, this works perfectly with a 12 Pro Max with, with, um, with an iPhone. So get the apps, whatever you want. There's a ton of them in there. Um, 
then once you have the apps you're looking for, you can now, you know, get into whatever you want. Like this has YouTube, Spotify, Netflix, Waze. I got the YouTube TV app that I downloaded. You can go on the internet, if you know, click on Google. Um, it's basically literally an iPad on the go. It's, it's pretty sweet. Um, I'm gonna throw a disclaimer out there before we go any further. I feel like I shouldn't even have to say this, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Don't be stupid with this thing. I did not buy this so I can use it while I'm driving or watch TV while I'm driving. I have two kids. If we go on road trips, we do travel a decent amount. Their iPad dies, now you know we could pull it up on here. Or with my job, there are times where I'm sitting in the truck eating lunch, or if I got a, a patient who cancels on me or whatever, I may be in the truck for an hour with nothing to do. I could throw this on, that's why I bought it, all right? Don't be stupid, don't put anybody else's safety at risk using this while you're driving, okay? Now back to the good stuff. Um, so again, get your apps. You will need your username and passwords for all of these apps when you first sign in. So when I clicked on YouTube TV the first time, I did have to enter our account or the username and password for our account at home. Um, but once you do that, I mean, it, it's ridiculous. Like it, this is just like if I was watching it at home. Um, it's pretty quick, pretty responsive. It's gonna make a liar out of me. It usually pops up quicker than that, honestly. It's almost instantly. Um, but now this is exactly what I would see if I was in my living room watching TV, watching YouTube TV. You can go to live TV. You have your home screen library it's exactly like you would get at home all right so awesome any of these apps you click on youtube netflix spotify you need the username and password the first time once you enter them it won't ask for it again but just make sure you have those readily available before you try to get into these apps because you will need them all right next little tip i'll give you um i don't know if you notice there's a white circle that pops up on the screen every now and then that's basically a shortcut so let's say we're in any app i don't know we'll just go into settings see that white circle that pops up it's going to disappear in a second but if you ever want that to pop back up just touch the screen somewhere it'll pop up and what that is first off you can move it you can drag it and put it anywhere on the screen but if you click it it's basically a shortcut menu so you want to go back to your Beniz home screen click on the house icon. You wanna go back to your truck settings, click on the car icon, all right? So it's basically just a little shortcut menu, um, pretty sweet, and I do like the fact that you can move it around and position it where you want it. Next tip we'll cover is, if you do wanna go back to just standard CarPlay and not use the Beniz box, you can do the obvious, which is just unplug it, or you can go back to your truck settings. So again, we're gonna click on the, the home icon, takes you back to your truck settings. Go back to Bluetooth and devices. Oops. Um, and now you can, same way you connect it to the box, now you can just go back to the iPhone. I'm not gonna do it, but if you click on that, you'll get the thing saying, you know, continue and all that good stuff. You can switch back and forth relatively easily. All right, so let's go back into Beniz. You can rearrange these apps. So let's say I wanted to put YouTube Music up here. You can you know, rearrange them however you want them. That's a nice little tip there. The other thing I want to cover, and this may just be for us iPhone users. If you're an Android user and you have this, please comment down below and let me know this. But the phone app, the first time I tried to do this, it kind of threw me off a little bit. If you click on phone as an iPhone user, nothing shows up. You don't have your contacts, your call history, none of that stuff shows up. There's another option that says BT phone, Bluetooth phone. If you click on that, that's how you can get your iPhone connected to, or through the Beniz, I should say. So first time, now obviously I'm already connected because I've already done it, but it's just a standard Bluetooth connection. All you're gonna do is come to the screen by clicking the Bluetooth phone icon. You'll see your phone listed, click on it. You have to go into your Bluetooth settings in your phone and pair them just like you would pair anything, headphones, you know, keep whatever like it's just a standard bluetooth connection once you do that now i can go ahead and use my iphone just like you would do through standard carplay it's got my call history i won't click on that just to you know i don't know if people want their names on the screen here but um you know you, you have access to your phone calls i've already used it to talk in the truck audio is spot on it's crisp it's clear um, there's no issues there and speaking of that also and even in the other apps like YouTube TV there's no audio lag I know that's gonna be asked that what you see on the screen is what you're hearing there's no lag whatsoever 
All right, so it basically works just like your standard CarPlay with your iPhone. Um, I have no complaints so far uh, on this thing at all. Um, but again, if you're an Android user, let me know about that phone thing. I'm wondering if that is if you're an Android user, if you would just go through there. If you're an iPhone, maybe you have to use this. I'm honestly not sure. Comment down below and let me know if you are, um, again, an Android user, if you do have to use the Bluetooth or if you can go through the regular. All right, guys, so there you have it. The Beniz box works perfectly with our 2022 Tundras. Once you get that original connection made that I showed in the beginning, everything works flawlessly. Um, one thing that's gonna drive me nuts, though, if you're a longtime follower of my channel, you already know what I'm gonna say. The cord in the box just dangling. I cannot stand seeing wiring or cords. That's gonna drive my OCD insane. I'm gonna see what I can figure out there to try to hide this either behind the dash or somewhere. I'll try to figure something out. If I do figure anything out, I will absolutely make a video on it to show you guys, but that's gonna drive me nuts. Worth it in my opinion so far, absolutely, but that is gonna just take my OCD to another level. So we'll see what I can figure out, figure out there. Any questions, comments, or concerns, as always, put them down below. I appreciate you guys watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't. It really does help the channel grow. We'll keep the content coming on this 2022 TRD Pro. Till next time, we'll talk to you then.